Welcome to day seven of Stuff Your Stocking. We are going to talk all about glue and pins today. Um, pinning is so important in many of the things that we do. It's something that I despised when I first started learning how to quilt. It actually used to be an argument I used to have with my mother um, regarding uh, pinning on borders and pinning things. And now I pin, pin, or glue, glue as I go. So I'm going to show you my favorite pins, my favorite pin cushion, and then we're also going to talk about glue and why I sometimes use that also. So we're going to start off with the magnetic pin. Um, I don't know if you want to call them pin bowls, pin cushions, but these are the Zirkle um, pin bowls. And so we have them for you in black and then we have them in lime green. Now I actually use three of these in my sewing room. I have... Um, both of these at my cutting and pressing table where I do the majority of my pinning. One of them has flower head pins on them. The other one has my favorite clover uh, fine quilting pins on there. And then the third one is empty and it is by my sewing machine. So as I'm sewing and I'm removing pins, I can put them on there and then it's easy to go back and separate it. I don't carry the pin bowl back and forth uh, from my cutting table to my sewing table. Sometimes I use both pins and then I don't want to forget to take it back with me. So I actually have three of them in my sewing room. Um, so let's talk about the Clover fine quilting pins. I know these are probably a little bit hard to see on camera, but they're long, they are glass head, so they're not gonna melt if you hit them with an iron, and they're extra fine. So, but they still have quite a bit of stability to them. One of the things that I like about these is that if I need to go in to, and I call it kind of if you have to weave in and out of your fabric more than just one time, you have plenty of length in the pin to do it, um, and it's really fine and it's not taking up a whole lot of extra bulk. The other reason that I use these pins is when I'm actually nesting together seams or rows, um, because it is so fine, I can go right into the seam um, right into my seam and put it in there so that when I am getting up to the sewing, it's not adding any extra ripple into there. So those are the pins that I use when I am piecing together blocks or I am piecing together rows, borders, and that kind of thing. Flower head pins I use a couple different ways. So I will use a flower head pin um, when I'm paper piecing because if I have... Uh, if I have pinned through multiple layers of fabric or paper, my ruler will lay flat on them. Flower head pins obviously have a larger head on them, so they're easier to grab, and they are a thicker pin. Um, for example, we're doing lots of bags, um, and so this is a piece of fabric that has got uh, two pieces of fabric on it, and it's fused. It's the Bozal, so it's a double-sided fusible. So when I go to do something that thick, these flower head pins go right in. Where sometimes with the longer pins, because of how fine they are, you may find that they bend a little bit. So even if I was to take two pieces of bozal and put them together and then do my flower head pin, you're going to notice that that pin stays nice and straight. I'm not bending it from the pressure of trying to pin things. So if I'm having to add a zipper to this or a pocket or something like that, the flower head pins are definitely uh, the way to go. What I love also about these magnetic pins is I can just throw them uh, right on there. Most of the time, the heads will flip around to the outside. If I was to drop things on the floor, I take my empty one and I just go around my sewing table or my cutting table and I can easily uh, pick up anything that I drop so the dogs don't get on it or actually I just don't step on it myself. Another thing that I have uh, shown quite often um, during our summer class pass, holiday class pass, and things like that is a glue pin. So the Bowen glue pin is my favorite uh, glue pin. It is also refillable. So you actually only have to buy this once. So um, I keep one at my cutting table. I keep one at my sewing machine. And then I keep one at my travel bag. Uh, that way I always have the pin. And then when it runs out, I can just grab the refill. Um, and refill it, I don't have to replace the whole pin. When I am getting projects ready and I have to do a lot of chain piecing, or I want something to be held right in place, or maybe I'm putting a zipper in something and I just want to hold it where it needs to be without pinning or clipping, I will use a glue pin. Now, this is fabric to fabric. 
And what I will do is I will actually just put a little dab of glue um, in the corner within what my seam allowance is going to be. And then that way I can get my blocks ready and they are not going to shift. Sometimes uh, we pin and we pin at the end of a seam, at the end of a block so that as we sew our fabric doesn't shift. Using the glue pin here will also do that same thing. A lot of times um, in the evenings, if I know what I'm working on the next day and I'm at the next step, even while I sit and watch TV, I can glue an entire set of chain piecing ready to go. And as you're going to notice, they don't come apart. So I can have these all ready. If I was to knock them over, drop them, they're set to go. It's really easy to deal with when I get to my machine. I don't have to um, take the pins out. Now, when I go to start assembling these blocks, I definitely use my pins. So there's another way that you can do it. So your package for day seven is going to give you both a black and a green uh, Zirkel pin cushion. It will give you the clover flower head pins, a package of the fine flower head pins. It will give you a glue pin and a glue pin refill. Remember, if you buy the whole package, you also get a $5 Thimbletown gift card for that. Um, and then all of the items are on there individually. So if you want a third pin cushion, you can choose between the black or the green, and then you will have them uh, to keep at your sewing machine to easily remove your pins without having to really think about it. I don't have to take the pin out, stick it in a cushion. I can really just set it right next to my machine and the magnetic pin cushion is going to take care of it. Thank you for joining us for day seven, and we will see you tomorrow for day eight of Stuff Your Stocking. Have a good one, everybody.